The first reading is a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. In the days when Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverence. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and when he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The word of the Lord. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me. Make haste to deliver me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they have set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cloephas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and a disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the, the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. And so today we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. And so what that means is Mary is also, if you will, a martyr with Jesus because she went through all his suffering with him. She watched him die and it's said that in her heart that she died with him. So she is called on this day also a martyr for Christ. But also what happens this day is Jesus gives her to us because John always represents the whole church. So whatever John does, like today when we put our head on the chest of Jesus during, uh, after, during communion, we do it because that's what John did. And John, again, represents us that we're supposed to do that, put our head on the chest of Jesus at every Mass. Well, here, Jesus Christ gives us his last and perfect gift. He gives us his mother as he gave John his mother. And then it says the old, now it says he took her into his home, but it used to be he took her into his care. He took her into his care. That we too need to take Mary into our care. And the thing about this is just as Jesus was not alone in his suffering, what that means is we are not alone in our suffering. That our mother, just as she was with Jesus and was with Jesus the whole time, Mary is with you and me in all our sufferings, big and small. We don't do it alone. We do it with our mother. So today, let's acknowledge our mother and take her into our care as she takes us into her care. May you know God's love and Mary's love today and forever. Amen.